Hey, you guys, welcome to another episode of Music Matters. I'm your host, Fly My Guy, as usual. We got a good one for you tonight. It's a yeah, sizzler. Can't miss stuff. One of my all time favorites is here. Take two. Let me go ahead and introduce them right now. Just released their most recent work, Sons of the True Flame. That's right. Conrad Custer. Hey, yeah. Thanks thank for coming you. on the show. Hey, man, thanks for having me. It is Absolutely. definitely an honor to be on Music Matters um, yeah. on this television network. Huge, huge show. Let's get the, uh, let's get the ball rolling for, uh, for those who don't know. Just, uh, Take one. you know, just go ahead and tell us where Dragon Rider came from, the name Dragon Rider. Right. Take well, three. you know, Dragon Rider was something that was, I kind of made up, and the, all the rest of my band members met some opposition for it. But we had an original theme, and I'll, it has kind of a long story for it. And I'll tell you, um, it started when me and Matt DeModica, who's the guitarist for the band, and uh, Drew Dellinger, who's the drummer, we all lived together in a townhouse. And as a roommate bonding thing, we played that game, don't know if you heard of it, uh, Rock Band, Guitar Hero. No, very well. Yeah, well, we all Indeed. played that together, and we thought it would be cool to create a little band, and uh, we went with a whole theme of uh, just, you know, we created our characters, Hard Rock, and uh, the band name for that that we came up with was Dragon Queef. <laughs> and so, interesting. yeah, Dragon yes. Queef, very interesting. Uh, just kind of making fun of the whole thing. And then me and Matt DeModica uh, work a lot together. And we thought it would be really cool to actually make a real band named Dragon Queef. So we got together and started writing music. And uh, what started as a joke with like a dragon theme ended up being something a little bit more serious. And uh, it is then that we decided to choose something a little bit more user-friendly as the title. And we actually had a song um, called Dragon Rider. Right. So we decided to go with that as the name for our band. Think, so that's where that great idea. Dragon Rider came from. That's, that's the name of our group. Absolutely. Um, why don't you uh, tell, tell your, all your fans, or obviously your uneducated fans, what kind of uh, music you guys play, what genre, what your influences are. Give me, uh, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the genre we play uh, is kind of, uh, I think we created our own genre, uh, Dragon Rock. So that's what we're going to go with. <laughs> uh, on all of our listings on Facebook and MySpace, it says Dragon Rider, and then it says genre, Dragon Rock. But uh, I think one of the most beautiful things about this whole project um, has just been the influences of the many different band members. Um, you know, I have more classical rock experience, um, also uh, symphonic experience. I played in an orchestra. Um, and then nowadays I'm listening to a lot more hard stuff. Uh, you know, and we just have several different influences coming from different parts of the band. And we wanted to go for kind of like a new, like metal feel. And uh, we ended up with something, because of our classical rock experience, something in the middle. And so that's the kind of genre we're in right now, and it's, it's pretty much we created it. All right, brilliant stuff, brilliant stuff. Well, we'll be right back with you. We've got to take a quick take commercial one. break. Stand by to roll blue. Be right blue. back Stand after this. Studio. Stand by Q Talent. Roll blue. Stradio Q Talent. All right, good stuff. Welcome back to the show. Again, we're here with Stand Conrad Custer. Yeah, he was thanks just, for having uh, me. Yeah, yeah. He was just briefing us on his uh, music group, Dragon Rider. Mm -hmm. um, so why don't you uh, tell us about the uh, recording process? I, I listened to your new album, Sons of the True Flame. Right. It's, uh, I love it. It's well, the thing that we wanted to do uh, mostly was... Um, Kind of just create kind of like a garage band sound. And so most of this, I mean, we wrote, uh, gosh, like eight songs in a period of, uh, gosh, like two, three months. And um, we wanted to come up with that kind of garage feel for the whole thing. And so we recorded most of it actually in my apartment complex. You know, I have my little thing. Um, I guess the process went, you know, we wrote the songs 
and then we recorded uh, you know the fundamental tracks for, and for us that would be the guitar parts really get those parts written Damn. then the bass parts as well oh, and right. uh and pretty much ended up getting the whole thing done well i love it i hope everyone out there loves it you guys yeah, go get it wife, thanks for joining us on the show once again conrad custer yeah, thanks for having me i appreciate yes. it <laughs> music matters man music matters